Hi all my alluring beauties, how are you guys tonight? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. So I have to start by saying happy anniversary to my husband. We've been together for eight years. I am so happy to be with him and that we met and everything else. He is the stronghold of our family and he he just goes out there and does everything he has to do and never complains about anything. He's such a wonderful man. So. Yeah, I have to say happy anniversary, honey. I love you, and I look forward to so many more years to come with you. And that phrase, till death do we part, that's exactly what it'll be. We won't part until death does take us. Anyways, so again, I had to say my little happy anniversary thing. So I look horrible tonight. I'm sorry. I felt even worse that I looked bad for my husband. I tried so hard. I did the, tried to do this really cute little thing with my hair and it turned out awful. So, moving on. Let's talk about my March favorites since I'm late. And let's get going! So, of course, my win, which yes, I'm going to be giving you guys a lot more of a review on it. I just had to get out the price on my last video because, oh, that's just a killer deal. So, you know, it's the three, well, it actually comes with four pieces, but, you know, you can only use three of them at a time. Well, I guess you could use four at a time if you want to, but. So, here's the shampoo, the cleansing conditioner, the, um, styling cream, and the finishing stuff. So, I'll get more into that later, but let me just tell you, I love it in my hair. And, yeah, so. Since we did hair stuff, let me move on to the products that I am loving for my face. Of course, I still love all my Argon stuff. I've stretched this out so much since Christmas. I'm going to have to start looking for another deal on QVC for that. But through my sample boxes, as you all know, I get a few here and there. I've picked up some products that I am absolutely over the moon for. And I'm going to have to go purchase some more once these are out. So starting with eye care, again, my Argon Oil. Little tip that I learned from my beauty box, if you all don't know, I didn't know. If you put your eye serums in your refrigerator and use them, you know, when you first get up after you've washed your face and put them on, they'll help those dark circles and puffiness go away a lot faster. So if you want your items to work better, stick them in that refrigerator. So, my first one is this Clinique All About Eyes. It, is, it reduces circles and puffiness. Puffs. And it looks like this. You guys can see that. Ah, uh, no, you can't. There we go. And the inside looks like that. Very nice. Applies very smoothly. I got this for a gift from my mom. My last... No. Sometime last this year, last year, I don't remember. And then I got this in my beauty box. Oh, my, my beauty, uh, my sample society beauty box. And this is the Skin Iceland Icelandic Eye Relief Pin. And this was a full size, this is actually 20 bucks. I was so stoked to get this. And I had never heard of this company. Let's see here, there we go. Awesome some amazing product right here and moving on to facial care so I'm a budget person as much as I can be I go out looking for free samples online and stuff and anything that catches my eye you bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna sign up for it so I signed up for a a sample and it's this Simply, or Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Refreshing Facial Wash. And I love this. Just absolutely love this. It's awesome. Another two products that I got from my Beauty Bar Society um, were these two items, which is the Dermalogica developed by International Dermal Institute. It's a daily micro exfoliant. 
Um, it looks, you know, it's like a baby powder. It's really interesting. You, you wet your hands and you put this on your hands and it, you lather it up and you exfoliate. So I have been using this about every other day because I do have dry skin, so don't want to dry my skin out too much. And then the Ren Glycolic Skin Renewal Peel Mask. Now this should have been gone by now, but I only use this like once a week. But if you are looking for a deep, deep clean, this Ren uh, mask is amazing. I want to get a full size of this. Alright, so you're probably wondering what makeup have I been using, right? Who cares about, well, yeah, everybody cares about beauty stuff. It's all beauty related. Come on, it's awesome. So, we'll start with face. Like, regular, you know, non eye items. So, my first and foremost, I still have the sticker on it, but it's the, Mil the Milani Compact. It looks like this. I don't want to blind nobody. And again, I'm in 104 True Beige. Looks like that. And I have to tell you, I love this. This is so quick, I slap it on and I can go. Half the time I don't even put a facial primer on because, well, I'm going to be at home. I save my facial primer for going out when I need it to last all day. And I have to worry about looking nice no matter where I'm going. But, you know, generally I'm home, so... If it comes off, it comes off. My my children might run and hide from me because, ah, mom, half your eye came off. But, you know, whatever. All right, moving on. Sorry. <laughs> I know, I'm so random. My three favorite blushes. So let's get going. My absolute favorite brush blush for March is the Dream Bounce Blush. This one here. And it is in, of course, number 70, Hot Tamale. Beautiful. Granted, it's not so bouncy anymore. It's kind of flat. But, I mean, the color is just awesome. It's actually what I have on my cheeks right now. But I'll put some on my hand. I love this color. I'm telling you, it's awesome. My, my husband loves color on my cheeks. You'd rather see the color on my cheeks than on my eyes. Hence why my eyeshadow is very subtle today. Minus a little bit of a green eyeliner in my waterline. And then the other blush that I tend to lean towards a lot, well actually I lean towards all three of this, kind of alternate like every other day, is my Fox in a Box by Hard Candy. Let's see if I get that to focus. There it goes. And it looks like this. Uh, if I can get that justice. Hmm. Let's see here. Aha. And it is in the color Truth or Dare. I love this. You can contour and blush all at the same time. So, <laughs> yes, I've lost it. And then I love, love, love this one I normally, which is by Fair Minerals, I normally take this one and I apply it over either my Fox in the Box or my Dream Bounce blush. And it looks like, hmm, let's see here, like this. Uh, let's see. Very pretty. Here, I'll put a little of that in my hand. Whoa. Yeah. I'm going to turn my whole hand pretty colors. And it looks like that. Very nice. Very warm, like, summery glow. So. Okay, let's move on. So I don't make this video, like, 20 hours long, you know. I know I'm horrible for blah, 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 blah. Um, I'll do more reviews later. How about I just show the products and then I'll, anything that you want to review on or you want to see swatches of, you let me know and I'll do a video on it, okay? So, eye products. I'm loving my Urban Decay little mini primers. Now I have to go get full sizes. 
I was really bummed though that they didn't have the whole four pack of the different types. But I am showing, or I, I am showing, I am noticing that I lean more towards the, the Golder one. But I can't think Creed. Than I do the, the original. But that's just for now. Who knows? It may change. So, anyways. The other products that I am leaning towards are my L'Oreal Infallible. And, whoa, 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 in the Golden State Sage, and in the, and in the purple, which I can't read because I kind of scratched the lid. I will do swatches of all those in another video. I've done them before, so I know most of you just don't really want me to do that. And then also my... Maybelline Color Tattoos in Pomegranate Punk. Beautiful color. Yeah, you really can't see. Beautiful color. And in my Painted Purple. Yes, a bright one. Ooh. So, and the reason I love those so much is I don't have to put an eye primer on and I can use my finger. I showed it in one of my videos. If you guys want more of those like really quick let's get up and go videos, then let me know. I've got plenty of ideas and trust me, that's basically how I do my makeup all the time. Okay, moving on. My Maybelline eyeliners. So, I'm telling you right now, if you want your eyeliner to last forever and not go anywhere, go get... The Infinite Liquid Eyeliner, up to 24 hour wear from Milani. This stuff is amazing. They mean, oops, they mean it lasts 24 hours. I am not kidding you. And then of course, my Black Magic Milani, which is a double ended, um, now don't count on the one end working because they don't, but the black eyeliner part works awesome. And then you get that hint of silver or purple or pink awesome and then I'm loving also my my Maybelline uh, oh my gosh color brilliance and I have one in green and one in aqua and I love them both so oh one more eyeliner my NYX milk can't live without that I don't even know how I did I want to go get more of these although I did hear that mm, I don't know I watched another video can't even think. I'll have to leave it in the comments below. But there's another company that makes, well, a lot of companies, but another company that makes the jumbo pencils, and they last as long as this. They don't have as many colors as the NYX, but they're amazing. So, um, well, from what I saw in the video. So, I'm going to have to go check that out. <coughs> I've been alternating between my three blushes, excuse me. The Ulta Voluminous Volume. Right, that's not going to show up on my hand here. And my Physician's Formula Organic. This way, this way. Love this. And my The Colossal from Maybelline. Volumin volume Express. I love those. Let me tell you, I just feel like I have eyelashes that grow and keep going. Okay, last. Oh, okay. I brought up my other primers. I am still in love with my e.l.f. one. I use this one quite often too. Like if I'm going to stay home and I just don't know if I have to leave or something for the day, I'll use this because it does last forever and it is a lot cheaper than the Urban Decay. But, um... This one won't last me like overnight or anything. And then another eyeshadow that I've been going for is my Milani. And it's just this one right here. It's called Leaf Green. And honestly what I do with this in the morning is I'll just slap it on kind of all over. And voila, I've got a little color going. Well not all over but on my lid. Add a little mascara and I'm done. A little blush. And some eyebrows. Okay then I'm done. And then, honestly, I got this from my My Glam bag, and I didn't think I was going to really, like, like it, but it's the NYX Roll-On Shimmer, and I did show this in my Alluring 
daily makeup or something like that. I don't remember. I'll post a link into it so you can go see it. Um, I really do like this. This is interesting. Like, it saves me so much time. I mean, when you first put it on, it's like, oh my goodness, talk about glitter. Right? Look at how glittery that is. And that's fine, but you can also kind of rub it out. You still have the sparkles, but you just have a light, like, wash of sparkle. It's so pretty. Now, I don't use that for any other area. It's just for my eyes, so I'm not going to use it on my, like, body and then go put it on my eyes. That's just gross. So, um, oh, last product, I promise, because I'm already running into 15 minutes, ah, is my Revlon Color Stay Mineral Finish Powder, which I use as a bronzer, and it is, hmm, Right here. It's uh, 030 Sun Kiss. And it looks like that. I love this. Just so nice of a of a wash of color. I mean, it's just really light. You can't see that. Sorry. But I mean, it's really nice. That's what I've been using for my bronzer until I start self tanning. I gotta start that already. I know I'm late. Don't tell me. Shh. Anyways, everybody, I hope you guys have a great night again. To you, my honey, I love you. Thank you so much for being so supportive of me and your family and never complaining. And all my learning beauties, I love you. And I'll talk... Oh, wait, one more thing. Lucia, I'm so happy you got your package. Yay! Anyways, I will talk to everybody soon. Mwah. Keep it beautiful.